arriving in West Nile's relief to refuge from South Sudan. At last, they have escaped death. Hope glows here at the Invepi Reception Center and Transit Camp. Some people have been here for days waiting to get registered and later settled by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. A hot meal is served at the reception center every day. And the moment one leaves the transit camp, they start cooking for themselves the rest of the days that they remain in the settlement area. All that World Food Program can do is avail monthly food rations that are distributed by World Vision Uganda. We have 1.2 million refugees in Uganda, which make Uganda the biggest recipient of refugees in Africa. This figure translates into thousands of tons of food that World Food Program has to provide. However, the problem of funding could hamper the humanitarian effort. We have faced a shortage of funding, uh, and now as we speak, we have a shortage of funding of approximately $60 million from right now until August. And that is not worrying for as an institution per se, but worrying for the sustenance of the refugees. Uh, the global community uh, needs to uh, step up to ensure that the government of Uganda's hospitality is uh, supplemented by additional uh, funding to ensure that the, uh, the refugees have adequate food. Bidi Bidi settlement, home to more than 270,000 refugees. Everybody looks up to the Day World Vision distributes the monthly food ration. Men, women and children all line up to receive their rations. They brave the sun heat and long queues for the precious Russian, while somewhere in a WFP higher office, nobody knows how they will raise $60 million to feed these people, at least up to the month of August. If this money is not raised, there is likely to be a crisis of acquiring and transporting of food supplies to beneficiaries in the various settlement camps. It is only purpose that when you get it, then we try to economize otherwise. Because we don't have any other way around of getting even a coin as to go and buy, and buy with another food at the market. The same food ratio, we usually sell it out maybe to help in other things. At times the salt is not even enough. It might get over, you need to buy also salt to the same food that you, you sell at times, like especially the, the maize. Every 30 days, each person is entitled to 12 kilograms of either sorghum or maize, a small ration of salt, two and a half kilograms of beans, one and a half liters of cooking oil, as well as two and a half kilograms of soya flour, mostly intended to improve the nutrition of children. Because of a funding shortfall that is already affecting WFP and partners, these rations in some settlements come late. Like the one of la like the last month, as it delayed there, we, we really suffered. We are, we are only there eating the, the coconut fruits. Even now, as you see, we are in the March of April, but the distribution we are having is a distribution of March, food of March. So sometimes the food comes in time and at a time it doesn't come in time. The month of April started on a bad note for refugees living in the Bidibidi settlement. Previously, each one of them was given two extra kilograms of either sorghum or maize to use as payment in kind to the millers. That is no more. Now, they'll be required to pay millers in cash or use a part of their ration of 12 kilograms to pay the millers. Uh, through communication with the refugees and, and uh, uh, the food management committees, understanding that the, the two were not supposed to be continuous perpetually. The provision of food is also on a reducing basis. So as you, you might be aware, there are some who are already away from food, they're on cash. So the transition of people from 14 to 12 and then from 12 to cash is part of the development response uh, to the emergency. In the month of March, World Vision distributed close to 10,000 metric tons of food to 580,000 people in settlements in Arua, Ajuman, Yumbe and Moyo. Numbers are increasing daily. Lamo is surging with new arrivals already, which is likely to create a need for food supplies to be increased by 50% or more. In some camps, some refugees have opted for cash. Nearly everybody in the camp depends on handouts from humanitarian agencies. A family of one or more people will have to be economical with food. We have done our best level to provide food because we have the capability uh, in our supply chain, we have the capacity to procure, we have the capacity to, to store, and we have the capacity to transport. However, 
when the uh, fund will not arrive to us in a timely manner, then it will affect the distribution cycle of food. In the midst of challenges, World Food Programme and World Vision cannot abandon the needy. They have to avail food. The big donors have not committed to the call yet, except Japan, which contributed $6.3 million to be shared amongst UNHCR, UNDP, and WFP. Still, this leaves the food agency with a gap of close to $60 million to cover between now and August. Frank Olisimbi, NTV.